What? Sheriffs are here. Why are they here? My name's Rick Carver. I'm a licensed real estate broker. This home has been foreclosed on. No, this right, look, is not happening. I need you, your mom, and your son to step off the property. Just, this is not your home. Mr. Carver, please, please, please don't Sorry, come in. You have two minutes. Pack whatever belongings you need. Oh, my God. Does he have to stand there while she packs up? Is that right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why did you decide to deal with this subject? Which, you know, in many ways, people would say this is, this is something... This is something that's so complex. How could you make this into a movie? For me, it was the opposite. I was surprised nobody was making a movie about it, um, at least not in the fictional world. I, it seemed like the kind of movie that would have been made in the 40s, to 50s, and then jumping into the 60s and 70s, this probably would have been what would have been made. For those of you who haven't seen the film, Michael is a real estate broker. He does evictions. He evicts Andrew from his home, and then Andrew, Andrew starts working for him. Andrew's getting into a web of corruption. He's starting to make money. He wants to get his home back for his mom, Laura Dern, and his young son. And now Michael's telling him, you have to do evictions also, just as it happened to you, and he doesn't want to do it. I, I went down to uh, Florida. I did the research. I pr probably, I'm based in New York. I read about 400 articles, 20 books. And then I went down to Florida for several months doing the research. So I was in floor clo foreclosure courts. I was in motels with middle class families that were living there now in, in the motels and kids were going to school from the motel. I was with real estate brokers, a lot of them, I've been on evictions, all the real estate brokers carry guns. I learned all the scams. So there was just a lot of work went into the screenplay, um, just a lot of research. I mean, it's amazing how incredibly tight the screenplay is dealing with such complex issues because, I mean, obviously, as we saw from the from the, the, the crisis that happened, the small print is what gets you. I'm gonna need you to please vacate the premises. No, I, I understand what you're saying, Mr. Carver, and I've, 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 we've been getting our eviction notices. I was in court yesterday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the judge informed me that I got 30 days to yeah. file for an appeal. And that's what I intend to well, do. Well, if you posted bond and you have an emergency stay signed by the judge, you're welcome to well, I got a question. You guys didn't get any uh, rescheduling of the what eviction day. What I received is a court order signed by a judge. It says you are to vacate these premises today. We were scared this of this. This home is owned by the bank. Either we knew someone who had been evicted or had lost all their money, or you had lost your retirement plan. But they were headlines that... that I wanted to get in there and find out what the story was and then get lucky and have amazing actors like, you know, Andrew and like Michael Shannon here who can bring the thing to life. And it was really working with someone like Michael who could take that character and make him human. I was wondering, is it, was that true to life, that sort of systematic way, in the way in the police are involved? And yes. it's, it's, it's almost like a community eviction. Yes. The things are all based on real events, real pro processes. Real estate brokers who have seen the film say, this is my life on screen. People who've been evicted have been emailing me from across the country. People I don't even know saying, finally, you told my story. There are things in the movie that you won't believe if, if you've seen the film or if you haven't seen it yet. There are things that you will not believe you'll think I have made up, but I have not made them up. One of the things I found very interesting about the film is, is the relationship between Michael and Andrew, both as characters but as actors, the chemistry. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of work went into the writing of those two characters. What would be the energy between them? What would this Faust story be? And then great actors. So there's a lot of work with them in prep on revising the script for what they were thinking and feeling, going deeper into the script with them. And then it, the, the great thing on, on the performances were they're totally dedicated to both of them. They will not stop until it's correct. And I... I I'm open to improvisation. I, How I, much improvisation was there? Because it's such a tight script. Uh, the script is very tight, but if someone wants to say instead of tight, it's a taut script, I'm not going to complain about that, you know? And, and there's a real people in the movie, so, and I, I don't do um, shot lists or storyboards. I, I like the thing to come alive in front of me in a, in a rehearsal with the actors and give them the freedom for that. And then I know how I'm going to shoot it, you know. So you got to let the actors have room to do that. you got to let Andrew and Michael have room to grow into the part and to find things. And it's got to be worth filming anyway. And you only know that when you're seeing the blocking rehearsal happen and you're seeing the actors go into it. 